the reaction from the Afghan community to both of the novels has been overwhelmingly positive. I mean, not a day goes by that I don't get a letter or an email from an Afghan reader from somewhere in the world uh, who thanks me for these books, uh, who are, are happy that these books were written, see their own lives, their own stories reflected on the pages of these books. Um, but that's not to say that, um, that that feeling is unanimous within the Afghan community. My books deal with things that are considered delicate and sensitive, almost taboo in Afghanistan. Uh, most dramatically in The Kite Runner, uh, that novel deals quite a bit with the tension between various ethnic groups in Afghanistan. One of the scenes in The Kite Runner that has really uh, garnered a lot of attention is the, the pivotal scene in the book where Amir uh, witnesses uh, the rape of his friend Hassan occurring in this alley and he doesn't intervene. And, uh, and it has become kind of a subject of a lot of controversy within the Afghan community because there are ethnic flavors to the scene. Um, but for me, the, the rape scene in the alley has always had an allegorical and, and, and symbolic uh, meaning to it. That scene is reminiscent of what happened to Afghanistan. Um, the Afghans fought a 10-year war against the Soviets where a million people uh, died and countless others were displaced and maimed and hurt. But what happened after the Soviets left was that the international community in the West, and particularly the US, uh, stood by and watched uh, and did not intervene as Afghanistan was brutalized uh, by one uh, regime after another. I feel I have written about Afghanistan, about the different people of Afghanistan, be they Pashtuns, Hazaras, Tajiks, or, or whatever ethnicity. I've written about them lovingly and I've tried to be even-handed. Uh, but I've not shied away from writing those things that are less than honorable. I think it's the role of people who make films and who write stories, books, novels, to talk about those things that shape society even if they're the divisive things. So talk about those things that matter, that fundamentally alter and shape people's lives. I think that's the role of fiction. So um, otherwise, to merely paint Afghanistan as um, this happy country where everybody loves each other and everybody gets along, uh, I think it's a very false and skewed uh, depiction of Afghanistan. It's almost uh, paramount to, uh, to propaganda.